Just a few simple ingredients in these M&M gummy cups will make a fantastic Christmas treat. G'day, welcome to Todd's Kitchen. Over the years I've made many gummy recipes and being Christmas I thought I'd make a Christmas version. So join me today as I make my version of Christmas gummy cups. Now we're going to start this off with our Jello, or we call it jelly here in Australia. And we're just going to use one packet, but of course that depends on how much you're going to make. So we're going to place that packet into our container. And to make the gummy consistency, we're going to use some gelatine. Now basically what this does is it just makes it a much, much firmer consistency. Now there's already gelatine in the jello mixture, and that's what actually makes it that nice firm consistency. But adding more will make it much firmer. And as you know, gummy is basically a very firm form of jello. So for every standard packet of jello, we're going to add a tablespoon of gelatine. And just give that a quick mix just to combine. And we're following the packet directions. So for one packet, I'm going to add in 450 mils of boiling hot water. And with a whisk, give it a good whisk around until all the jelly crystals and gelatine have completely dissolved. Okay, so we have our green base. Now, honestly, it could be a bit greener, I want this more festive, so don't be afraid to add just some green food coloring. Just to make it all nice and green and festive. And you can also add some more lime flavor if you like, but honestly, as long as you follow the pack of directions and you're only adding, say, a tablespoon of gelatine, it's still going to be a lovely lime flavor. Okay, so I have some glass containers here. Now you can use whatever you choose, it's really up to you, but we're going to fill up each one, say about a quarter of the way with our gummy mixture. And just be careful because obviously this is still boiling hot. But don't go half, go about a quarter so we can get a roughly even consistency. Okay, so once done, Simply place this into the fridge for about a good one hour to completely set. Now, while the green base is setting in the fridge, we're going to make the red section. And we're doing this now to give it a chance to cool down to room temperature, just so it doesn't mix too much and melt the bottom green layer. So again, we just pour in our jelly crystals, followed by a tablespoon of gelatine to get that gummy consistency. And just give it a quick mix around followed by a recommended amount of boiling hot water. And again, give it a good mix until those jelly crystals and gelatine have completely dissolved. And just like with the green, I'm going to add some more red food coloring just to make it pop that little bit more. There we go, nice and red. And we're just going to leave that to cool down the room temperature. And by the time that's cooled the room temperature, it should be ready to place on top of our green base. Okay, so I've just taken our glasses out of the fridge. As you can see, nicely set. So with our cooled down mixture, just add say another quarter of our red mixture, our red gummy mixture on top. So just basically even it out for the rest of our cups. Okay, so all we have to do now is place them back into the fridge for a good two hours to completely set, or preferably overnight. Okay, so I've just taken them out of the fridge. They're nicely set. Now for all, one of our two ingredients, I'm going to use some M&Ms. Now I just happen to be able to find the Christmas version, which is red and green, but you can use any that you like. So you can top them up with just the M&Ms, that's completely up to you. But when I have some Jello, or in this case, gummy, I also like to add just a little bit of whipped cream just on top. And then of course, followed by our M&Ms. Now would you look at those deliciously fresh cold gummy cups. You have that lovely gummy base mixed with a little bit of whipped cream on top and those delicious M&Ms. 
It's not just a Christmas recipe, you can change the colours up for any season of the year. It is definitely one of the more versatile versions, so you can also make them for Halloween, for Easter, but these ones are for Christmas, but no matter what holiday you choose to make them for, either way, they're going to taste simply delish. 